I recently posted this FNAF Help Wanted 2 clip on TikTok. Federico, what you do to your leg? We're gonna have to cut it off. Shut up! Shut up, Federico! Shut up! Oh, what the f is that? What the f is that? What? Shut up, Federico! Shut up, fool! There's a f Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I'm gonna cut the No! Federico! Ah! <laughs> And seeing how popular it got reminded me of a time in which TikTok used to be fun. So today I want to look back at my most popular horror slash FNAF slash whatever TikTok that helped put me on the map today. So let me take you down a trip through memory lane. And if you're new, then strap in because you're about to see some unhinged Oh yeah, the late 2019 slash 2020 TikTok. Back when you used to try and have to make good content in order to get recognized. I didn't actually do that, I just posted shit. But nowadays, you either gotta cry, look good, talk a lot of shit, or show a lot of cake. I'm asking you if you're ready for me to get- <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Sakura-chan, I'm ready now. I'm not gonna slap you across the face. Here I go. Here I go. <laughs> Those noises, though. Sakura Jen, am I. <laughs> am I doing it right? <laughs> your eyes. What's wrong with your. <laughs> oh my goodness. Is this what a kiss is like? Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> that was my uh, VR girlfriend simulator, which was age restricted by YouTube and also almost got me completely banned from TikTok for a clip that I showed that wasn't really all that bad, but TikTok's a sensitive place. Oh man, that was the early days of VR chat. And for some reason I was playing it on desktop. <laughs> How the f did I make it to 10 million followers on TikTok, bro? <laughs> I'll fight you on this bridge, AC. In the rain, dog? An anime fight in the rain? Hell yeah, let's go, fool. Hey, jump over here, dog. You can't make it. What's up for all the Uh <laughs> God that edit took me forever to do, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Cholo style is my only option. You know, playing FNAF VR 2 reminded me a lot of my old Surgeon Simulator videos. By the way, if you're looking for my Help Wanted 2 Let's Play, I'm playing it over on the Eddie VR channel. I have a VR channel, fools. Just type in Eddie VR. And all these clips are from videos from that channel. In case you're wondering, in case you're looking for them. Okay, let's watch Sur Surgeon Simulator. Kidney transplant. Okay, time to open the box. Oh. Frijoles? Hey, wait, por qué no me habías dicho que eras mexicano? <laughs> Orale, Bob, I'm about to season some frijoles for you to get you through your surgery, fool. First, you put some salsa verde <laughs> in those frijoles. And then real Mexicans take it one step further and get some salsa verde on themselves. Orale, wey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bob. Frijoles are ready. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, the nostalgia is hitting me with that one, man. <laughs> that Surgeon Simulator series was so much fun to make. I think there's a good chance to explain like why I started this whole Spanish thing because I tried Cholo Minecraft and it didn't really work like doing the voices like like what's up fool you know and talking English like that like it wasn't until I posted one of the girlfriend simulator games where I slapped the girl and I called her a pendeja or something and the TikTok took off and people were asking for more of the Spanish stuff where I started realizing there was something there. Like no one at the time was speaking English and then randomly going to Spanish and like letting the Mexican come out. You know what I mean? And that's how it all started evolving. It all started coming together. Say, ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I got your nose. 
Wait, can I look inside your head? Oh, Jesus Christ. Wait. <laughs> Wait, keep him in there. Keep him in there. Let me look inside real quickly. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh, yeah. Then I started doing novelas. In my head, I was like, man, I used to watch novelas in, with my family when I was younger. And they were so dramatic. It's like Mexican soap operas. I was like, man, anybody that speaks English is watching that shit. Let alone, what if I do it in VR? And then I started doing shit like this. Fernando, ¿por qué me engañaste? Veronica, es que ella... Hacía mejores las tortillas. <risa> ¿Sabes qué, Fernando? Mejor me voy con Eduardo. Espérate, güey, conmigo qué pedo, qué. <risa> Órale, güey, a la chingada con esas fregaderas. Eh, güey, ¿cómo las soportabas? La verdad no sé, cabrón. Pero, oye, este, ¿me, me, ¿me puedes dejar ir? Sí, güey, vete a la chingada tú también. <risa> oh, man, that's the thing I love about VR is there's so much you can do in VR especially like when you put yourself in that world like you start role playing as if you were living in there that's the thing that made me fall in love with vr and making videos in vr is that it's an opportunity for me to role play inside vr and for the duration of my time in vr escape the real world and just play i thought hmm i'm gonna have fun in my own way and if people like it great if not oh well at the end of the day it was fun do that thing with your eyes <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I did that. Oh, <laughs> uh, the days where these like TikTok trends were happening. I was like, how can I implement those into the VR videos and twist them and put turn them on their head pretty much? It's the same concept. Like everybody's doing the same video on TikTok. How can I make mine different? And this is what came out of it. <laughs> okay, here's another click, novela. Click, click, click. Veronica, quiero que sepas. Que estoy arrepentido, mi amor. Quiero tus tortillas, Verónica. No. Yo te amaba, Verónica. Ya no miraremos novelas. Verónica, discúlpame. A su... Espérate, güey. Espérate, güey. Oh, 911. 911. 911, güey. That was the birth of 911. That was the very first video I ever said that in. October 2019, four years ago. Oh, shit. That's four years ago. The birth of 911. It feels like it was just yesterday. <laughs> Then I realized 911 was a popular thing, so... Uh... Veronica, se han robado mi video y no me mencionaron todo mi trabajo. Y todo mi sudor. L literalmente sudo cuando hago videos, güey, eh. Solamente para que alguien más se haga popular. ¡Ah! Ahora <risa> solamente queda una solución. Hay que llamar al Nine Juan Juan. Ay, por favor, prepara los frijoles, güey, que ya voy a salir del trabajo. Bye. <laughs> oh, that was a that was a hard lesson for me to learn. It's like once you start putting yourself on the map, people will start copying your videos and reposting shit. And that, that was the very, very first time that someone took one of my videos and then reposted it and started getting more views than me. And I was so upset. I remember I messaged the person asking them to take it down and they ended up taking it down. But then later on, I just began to accept it as a thing that happens. Veronica. ¿Qué estás haciendo en la casa de Juan? Me pusiste una orden de restricción, <laughs> pero a mí me vale madre. ¿Por qué tienes que lastimar mi corazón? Vas a ver... Ay, wey, espérate, espérate. Wey. Verónica, si la única barrera entre nuestro futuro es esta ventana, con gusto la quiebro. Ay, güey, le habló a la policía. <laughs> She called the cops on me. <laughs> Restraining order. Here we go. This is the start of horror content for Eddie VR. Walking into the scary tunnel. I'm a man. Si algo me asusta, güey. Voy a gritar más recio que una mujer teniendo un bebé. Si escucho un ruidito, güey, voy a salir de aquí disparado corriendo más rápido que la chingada, güey, que ni Laura ni el manager van a tener tiempo de decir, mira, hay un pinche mexicano corriendo. 
Here we go. Y si se me sale hasta un pedo. <laughs> Never actually walking into the scary tunnel. Always just prepping, hyping myself up. <laughs> That's why I always say Mexicans don't do this shit. Oh, this is when I actually tried this on like a person, a random person in VR chat. Veronica, eres tú, mi amor. Me has estado espiando desde atrás de un árbol como una linda, pero horripilante acosadora. Beautiful. <laughs> Nada más te estaba viendo desde aquí. ¡Oye! Oh, ¡Hablas español! Verónica, te llevaré por los cálidos cielos hasta Japón para que me hagas unos tacos de tripitas. Sí, acepto tu trato. Acepto tu amor. Espérate, güey, la verdad no sé cuántos años tienes y antes de que me arresten mejor me voy de aquí. No te preocupes, tengo 18. Esto no puede continuar. Por favor, no me sigas. Por favor, cambiaré por ti. <laughs> uh, that was 100% random Like, I never set this girl up for anything I don't even know who she was I thought it was just some random person As Nezuko that would never understand me And it turned out to be a girl who spoke Spanish That one went viral That was funny as shit Here we go, the horror <laughs> content payaso demonico, güey. Yo lo sé. I know it. You're about to move. And I swear to God. Yeah, the clown can't move by itself. No, no pinche pelota. Demonica, ya te me... Ay, espérate, güey. No, no. Where did he go? 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 Amá, espérate, güey. Espérate, güey. Amá, amá. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm keeping my eyes on you. I saw a little... Hey, espérate. No, 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 no. Está poseído ese güey. Eso es el demonio. Eso es el demonio, Diosito, por favor. <laughs> Nothing's changed. I mean, well, that one's like four years ago, but it's still in line with the content I make today. So that was the first scary game I played in VR for the channel. Your Mexican uncle in Vegas. Let's go. We need, we need bar sixes or cherries. Come on, baby. Give me them sixes. Give me them sixes. What? Six? Six? And oh, I saw you switch it. Ah. Cheater. Let's see if you cheat on me again. Three of the same. Three of the same. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Let's go. I mean, uh, uh, sorry. Let's go. <laughs> bar, bar, you, bar, uh, you switching stuff at the end. Ah. Cheating ass machine. It didn't light on fire. <laughs> What's up, then, is he? You're going to cheat on me, too? Better not cheat on me, ah. cheater. And? And? Lemons, lemons, bars, bars, bars. Hey, no, pinche madre. Give me my fucking money, way. I, I don't get it either. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for that one. I, I, <laughs> I don't know why it got six and a half million views. Veronica. Here we go with the novelas again. Quiero decirte que he llegado a Las Vegas después de que me dejaste, me hice famoso y ahora como langosta. <laughs> Fancy ass motherfucker eating. <laughs> Ahora sí, te arrepientes. Huele la langosta. Huele mi éxito. Y llora <laughs> sin mi. <laughs> Verónica. Verónica. ¿Por qué siempre me cuelgas? Ay, güey, espérate. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, man. I forgot I made some of these, man. This is actually, some of these are actually really good. Oh, this is the one where I saved. Oh my Latinos! I killed La Llorona. Check it out. I bet you La Llorona is gonna come out of here. No, Just mom, you better get off the phone. You know I'm gonna have an accident. Mom, hold up. Ah, yeah, no, wait a minute. Wait, no, no, no. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Si agarro el pinche teléfono y me sale La Llorona, güey, ya voy a valer madre, güey. Ya te digo. Espérate, güey. Ya sabía. ¿Dónde estás, hija de la chinga? Ya te vi, pinche Llorona. Eso te lo mereces, güey, por entrar tratando, tratando de asustarme en medio del camino, pendejo. Latinos. Lo hice. Yeah. Ya no tienen que tener miedo. Me chingue a la llorona. <laughs> you don't have to be scared at night no more. La llorona, 1945 through November of 2019. Rest in peace, sis. Because I ran her over. This is where I started realizing that the horror content was really the way to go for me. Si me sale una araña, güey, cuando agarre la pinche llave, güey, voy a gritar bien gacho que no te la vas a creer, güey. Ya te dije. Ya te dije, la voy a agarrar, güey. Y la voy a agarrar. Espérate, espérate. Un momento, un momento. Diosito, por favor, que no me salga una pinche araña del demonio. La voy a agarrar. La voy a agarrar, güey. Ya sé que me va a salir algo, güey. Espérate. Ahí voy. Ahí voy. Voy a gritar, güey. Ya les dije. Grab the backpack, dog. Goddamn. Ok, ok. Espérate. 
That's a kid. <risa> 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 Una pinche víbora venenosa, güey, córrele. <laughs> I was so scared to grab that damn backpack because I thought spiders would come out and the f***ing snake comes out of nowhere. Mexican pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> somos cholos, somos cholos, somos cholos, somos vatos. Como tortillas, como frijoles, como tripitas, soy bien cabrón. Laura, no se lo espera, me la voy a chingar. Tengo un cañón, ya lo llené. Con chingo de bolas, she'll take them all to the face. Here she comes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was funny as shit, man. I didn't expect that to work, and then all the balls just went right into her face and blew her up. They called the cops on me. Oh, this one I introduced Gabby to VR. Veronica, eres tú? Veronica, tengo mucho tiempo sin verte, mi amor. Whoa, 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 who's Veronica? Wait, you're a girl? Uh, yeah. Veronica. Mi amor, I've waited for so long. I can't speak Spanish. Entonces tú no eres Veronica. Discúlpame, necesito buscarla a ella. Pero estoy muy better. <laughs> Me amo, Gabriela. Gabriela. Es el nombre más hermoso que yo he escuchado. Gracias, güey. Everybody thought that I met Gabby in the forest, which was funny. What about me? Huh? Oh, Gabby. I was just... Did you bring me food? I brought you food. I was just watching clips of you. What is this? It is a orange beet and avocado salad. And I have an orange salmon here for you. Yo, am I at like a five-star restaurant? What the fuck? Shay Gabby. <laughs> you gotta watch this. Thank you for the food. You gotta watch this. This is this is your first clip ever in VR. Oh god. Pero estoy muy better. <laughs> Me amo, Gabriela. Gabriela es el nombre más hermoso que yo he escuchado. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, right? Yeah, the good times. You went from from that to having a cooking channel coming soon. Coming soon. Very soon. It's just her other channel, Gabby. That's our. You guys are already subscribed to Gabby. That's she's just gonna upload videos on that channel. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was delicious. All right, let's continue. Here's some Making more FNAF. To hell. This clown. I'm gonna punch his frijoles. Hit it, DJ. Con mis chanclas de peles. And now I'm hungry for chicken thighs. Kentucky's eyes. She's looking fine. Now and passing by. But there is only one tiny problem. Her name is Beto. Nika. Wait. Hold up, what'd you say at the end there, fool? Nika. <clears throat> Moving on. Five nasty ass fools. Estás bien gordo, hijo de tu chingada madre. Stop eating so much. Holy shit, this fool is huge. With a little guitar, like about to play Despacito. What, you gonna play the intro to Despacito? The... <laughs> ding, 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 ding. And then do the... Ay, but tune it first, do that. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. My first TikTok with Juicy. Who's that old man in the bar? You mean me? <laughs> yes, you. What are you doing in here? You can barely walk. Are you drunk? Just... <laughs> oh, oh, my oh, my oh my god! 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 <laughs> That's like the first couple of videos I ever made with the boys. Yeah, in this video, I'll do just mostly like my own stuff. If you want to see me react to my viral TikToks with uh, some of the other boys, then like this video and uh, I'll do a separate one and we'll look back at the boys' viral moments together. Oh God, we got novela in FNAF now. Go on. Lo nuestro no puede funcionar. Wait, no me interrumpas. Ya no cocinas para mí. Ahora... Nada más comes pizza y pastelillos y no me pones atención. 
Pero la verdad, güey, te has puesto bien fea, güey. Mira, ya subiste de peso y te ves bien gacha. <laughs> it never fails. It never f***ing fails. Here we go. 20 million view video. Hi, it's nice to meet you. What? Is it the accent? Hi, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> Hi, it's nice to meet you. Fuck it. Gusto en conocerte, pendeja. She's stupid. Maybe if I say it in like a super seductive manner. Pendeja. Hi, it's nice to meet you. I'm <laughs> crazy. <laughs> that was a game that like wrecking a dating game that recognizes your voice and she wouldn't fucking talk back to me unless i called her a dumbass here's more i'm slowly losing my mind with this shit come on come on okay we can do this, we can do this. We can do this. no 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 don't bring him the camera too pendejo pendejo where is he he's in the vents isn't he oh su pinche mal no malas tortillas vienen por el pinche air vent <laughs> it's because that fool actually looks like a crispy burnt tortilla. Like, no lie. Like, the first thing that comes to my mind is what these fools look like. And that's just what I call them. I don't f***ing know their names. Oh, Eddie, that's William Afton. And he's in the spring trap suit. Don't you know the lore? Dog, if I see the word lore in the comments one more time, I'm going to come to your home and undercook the rice in your burrito. That's a threat. Would you rather eat a baby goat or a matter baby? Or a what? A matter baby. What's a matter baby? Nothing sugar was the matter with you. <laughs> <laughs> is it Gabriela or is it Veronica? I don't know. This was like when Gabriela was barely starting to show up on videos and no one knew anything about her or who she was. As a little Mexican kid, I would not be chilling in my room with that motherfucker coming at me like that. I would be running to my parents' room real quick. And my parents would come out screaming, ¿Qué pasó, mijo? And then I would tell them that Scooby-Doo is in my room and he's possessed. All the lights would be on. We would not be fucking around in the dark like this. They would turn on all the Jesus candles in the house. I would have my tias, my grandma. What the f*** is that? You see that shit right there? Mexicans don't fuck around with that. And these fools would call a priest. The priest would be here in five minutes. I would get an exorcism. My house would be cleansed as It's true though, hey, it's fucking true. And I remember this was the absolute scariest level in FNAF VR 1. I could not bring myself to play this part, man. It was so hard for me. You could tell I had a little itch on my neck right there and I ended up scratching, but I scratched too hard for how because of how stressed I was. So I left the mark. <laughs> what the I'm going to be my underwear. I hate these fucking dolls. Dun, 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 dun. To flash them is my real test. Oh, to scare me is their cause. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only laughing at these because I don't remember, like, having done this, man. <laughs> That's funny as shit. I'm in the ghetto. Ra -da -da -da. Oi! Stop making TikToks in my yard! <laughs> Muchachos, I give you Ollie, my editor. He helped me and Molly out with this video before he started editing for me. This is little Ollie. And then Molly had to shoot him. Rest in peace. 20 million views on this one. Hey, wait, no mames! No mames, puto! Am I un pinche perro? Grabándome por afuera. Me va a robar y no me has terminado mis tacos, wey! Hay que llamar a 911. The fucking phone is gone. Diosito, por favor, ayúdame! <laughs> I remember exactly where I was when this video came out because I remember how excited I was to have gotten a video that went viral overnight, but also because it was a bittersweet moment because this was right at the end of February of 2020, right before the world went to shit. That's why like some of these clips are so memorable to me because there was other life impacting moments happening at the same time. And I think it probably is the same for you guys watching, like you watch an old video or an old TikTok or something and it brings you back to that time whether it's a good or bad time and this is one of those like videos for me for sure <laughs> more singing <laughs> mírame <laughs> mírame puto <laughs> damn that's heavy hitting bro that hits porque te pico los ojos con mi dedo del pie damn bitch 
chingate, pero chingate mucho. Get it. Porque tu cara me asusta <laughs> y tus dientes también. Wait! <laughs> Never fucking fails, man. Here's Ollie learning to be an editor. Yeah, you don't have to censor if it's in another language, eh? <laughs> it's okay, little Ollie. You you were learning. You were learning, fool. Anyway, as you can see, this is right before the No No Square meme took off. And then everything ramped up even more. Every single video that I was posting was getting like four, five million views. There's one with 30 million views. I might do a part two on this video if you guys want to take another trip down memory lane through the Eddie VR content. Under the sea, con Kentucky. Down where it's wetter, I'm a come getter. She's so crunchy. You'll never <laughs> get her out your head. Flavor so strong will make you dead. I'll pluck her feathers. There's no one better. Mike and Toki. Bitch. <laughs> That's a good one to end it on. CEO of plucking her feathers. <laughs> uh, anyway, more of these adventures are happening right now over in the Eddie VR channel. I appreciate all the support on the FNAF Help Wanted series over there. I'm going to go play it right now so I can get the next episode ready for you guys. But I, it's, it's nice to get back into VR and immediately fall back into this same cooked energy that I had back then. And it just feels good. It feels like we're just picking up right where we left off and i appreciate you guys for following me on this journey thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed it please leave a like let me know that in the comments what you want to see next i love y'all and i'm gonna see you next time bye <laughs> <laughs>